It is the 937 sound check. Of course, it's me, your man, Kev Nash. Make sure you tap in with me at One Kev Nash on all forms of social media. But right now in the building, I got my homie FF King. What's good, partner? What's up? What's up, everybody? What's up, Kev? How you doing, man? I'm blessed, bro. But what part of the city you from? I'm from West Dayton, you feel me? I grew up over on the West Side by West Side Market, Germantown and stuff. Went to Ponis High School. Yeah, I just grew up, you feel me, over there on that side of town, man. What was life in the early days like? Man, it was chill, man. Lots of being outside, you feel me, block parties and just going to the park all the time. Ice cream trucks, basketball hoop sessions with 20 people all playing 21 and stuff. <laughs> you know, that type of stuff. Let me find out you got some hoop gang. <laughs> I got a little bit. I got a little bit. I, I ain't too nice, man. I just I just get out here for fun. Hey, man, I, I ain't even going to front, man. I retired from hooping like maybe like three or four years ago, man. One of the best things ever, man. You know, all them days of running and playing on that concrete got my knees screaming at me. So, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> While you can still hoop, make sure you enjoy it to the max, man. Because once you retire, ain't no coming back. Yeah, man, still good exercise. Definitely get out there with the kids or with whoever, you know what I mean? Just get some shots up and you feel me run up and down. Good cardio, man. You already know, man. So obviously, man, you got this EP out there, Memories of Tomorrow. How'd you come up with that title for the EP? So actually, Memories of Tomorrow was just, you feel me, me looking forward to the future, but also understanding where I come from in the past and just, you feel me, things I've been through. It's kind of a lot of... Uh, a lot of talking about past traumas and just how I overcame them and just things I was dealing with at a time and just, you feel me, like the insight on my life and what I be going through and hopefully giving uh, people something that they can relate to, you feel me? Absolutely, man. So you're using music kind of like as a therapy, right? Yeah, as a therapy for me, for sure. Definitely. So when did you start? Uh, I started doing music professionally or you know doing shows and stuff back in high school we was uh part of the family affair talent shows uh okay. with tommy owens and uh mr shack and them you know what i mean so that's when the music career started and then uh just started dropping music professionally on apple music and stuff probably when i was like a senior in high school like 17. oh man so you started being serious early on yeah man been doing this for a long time and dropping music for a long time bro it just took a lot of time to per uh, perfect the craft and get the sound right and just you feel me understanding your audience and your brand and all that types of stuff but you feel me we've been doing this for a minute and you feel me now we're here so hey man I'm, I'm just glad to be where i'm at and the journey the travel and the journey has been amazing honestly absolutely man so you know i come from the era of the cd era you know what i'm saying cats selling cds and everything like that but, you know, your era is about the streaming and everything like that. Talk about the process of getting your music on the streaming site. Man, it's a uh, it's a lot easier than it used to be. Used to be able to used to have to go through like uh, uh, each site kind of individually and stuff like that. Back when I first started making music, I came like I, that, I was mixtape era, but we was more like that piff my mixtapes. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Like that's what I was dropping my first projects on. But uh, as of recently, you feel me, as long as you got fed me $20 a month or some of them even was like $20 a year, you just sign up with a distributor like a Distro Kid or a CD Baby or one of them, TuneCore, uh, United Masters, you know what I mean? And you get your music out there and you feel me, you, you can get, out, get it out there on your own, man. Absolutely, man. We got more with the homie FF King right around the corner. It is Hot 1029-937 Soundcheck. <laughs> Kev Nash still in the building with FF King representing West Dayton. Got that brand new EP out right now, Memories of Tomorrow, man. Talk about some of the people you work with on this, man, namely your producers. Uh, My producer, uh, the producer, me and uh, Ooze Too Nasty actually collaborated on the entire project. Uh, Ooze is a local producer here in the city, you feel me? But he also produces with uh, other artists such as Josiah and a whole lot of different other artists outside of the city and stuff. So uh, Ooze Too Nasty is the main producer. We just knocked out all the tracks, you feel me? Me and Bro been kicking, kicking it, you feel me? And uh, making music for years now and just working on the, on the craft together. So I just wanted to lock in with Bro and like just put something out there advertising both of our talents, you know what I mean? Absolutely, Mile. How many songs are on the EP? So six songs on the EP. Uh, only five of them showing up on my SoundCloud for some reason, but uh, it's six of them all on uh, on major streaming platforms on uh, Apple Music, Spotify, all that. Okay, now he's a definitely available 
for them features. <laughs> so how can you get yeah. in? How can people get in contact with you for the feature game? Man, get in contact with me for on Instagram or uh, on Facebook. Instagram is Fetty Fam King, F E T T I F A M K I N G for F at short. Uh, you feel me? F of King for short. And uh, FF King on Facebook or uh, Fetty Film King. Look me up on both of them, man. You feel me? We can we can get locked in. Absolutely, man. Go ahead, throw to the single Frozen, bro. Yup, yup. Hey, shout out to uh, Pop 1029. This is my latest single, Frozen, uh, pr produced by me and Ooze Too Nasty. Check it out. Oh, he making beats too. <laughs> oh yeah. Wait, wait. Yes, before sir. we play that, man, how long you been making beats? You ain't tell me that. Um, Oh man, yeah, I've been produce well, you know, kind of engineering and uh, producing my own music for the for the longest. That's how I kind of really got the got to it, and that's why it took me so long to get to where I'm at now, for real. But uh, man, I've been producing since uh since what like 2017. Okay, yeah, that's when I started making that's when I started making beats back then. Okay, so you one stop shop, you can do your own engineering, making your own beats, and got the bars. Get in contact with him, man. One more time, shout yeah. out your Instagram so people can follow you, bro. Yeah, one more time. It's at Fetty Film King, F E T T I F A M K I N G on Instagram. You feel me? Get with me. And FF King on Facebook. Follow me there too. Absolutely. All right, now throw to the single. <laughs> yeah, go on ahead. And here we go with Frozen by me and Ooze Too Nasty. Let's get it. It's Hot 1029.